How's it going, everyone? My name is Emmanuel Ramirez, and today I will be giving you an informative speech on the history of video games. Imagine living in a world where sitting on the toilet was not accompanied with Candy Crush or a flat beer. With popular games like Fortnite and Call of Duty taking over the news, it's impossible to know these games without knowing their humble beginnings. From the arcade era to at home consoles, all the way to virtual reality, video games have taken an enormous leap over the past 70 years. I have been playing video games for over a decade and was even ranked in the top 8% of all Xbox players on the West Coast. To begin, I will be going over the first ever video game made and the arcade era. Secondly, I will discuss the period of at home console systems. And lastly, I will be introducing a new era of virtual augmented reality. The origin of all video games began in the late 1950s, which led to this new multi billion dollar industry to be born of entertainment systems. This all started with the introduction of the first ever video game, Pong. According to Kurt Bendel, co author of Encyclopedia of Video Games, The Culture, Technology, and Art of Gaming, Pong was created by a physicist by the name of William Higginbotham in October of 1958, and was originally known as Tennis for Two. Pong was such a huge success and led to more than two dozen arcade video games similar to it, such as TV Ping Pong and TV Hockey. With the introduction of these new video games, systems began to develop in order for the games to be played by the public in video arcade cabinet form. According to Mark J.P. Wolf, author of The Video Game Explosion, the first video game Arcade was introduced in 1971 by Nolan Bushman, who was the founder of Atari. With the opening, many new developers wanted an opportunity in this new industry being created and introduced games like the first video pinball game and the Sword Game. Eventually, as time went on, games began to become an at-home commodity for anyone with a TV, which eventually made arcade era a remix obsolete. After seeing what a success this new entertainment industry was, engineers began to try and develop new ideas for what was the next bigger and better system. This is when the legendary home console generation was born. The first at-home gaming console ever released to the public was known as the Magnavox Odyssey. According to the National Museum of American History, the Magnavox Odyssey was released in 1972 by engineer Ralph B. Baker and only sold 350,000 units, which was not considered to be a commercial success. The console consisted of a small box-like system with a single game integrated into it and two paddle-wise controllers. However, as time went on, engineers were able to evolve and protect these newer systems to the consoles we have today, known as PlayStation and Xbox. The turning point of all the consoles was the introduction of the first smart console, known as the PlayStation. As stated in the Encyclopedia of Products and Industries, the PlayStation was launched in Japan on December 3, 1994, but later introduced to the US in September of 1995, where it was very successful, due to it having only exclusive video games on its platform. Xbox, on the other hand, had a really hard time on its initial launch in 2001, but it did change the gaming world, having the first online platform known for video games. As time continued to move forward, Newer and newer technology systems are being introduced, and we have now entered into the world of virtual reality. With these newer technologies and more vast educational careers being available in today's time, augmented virtual reality gaming introduces a newer, more involving hands-on gaming experience that's never been seen before. The first virtual reality headset to be made was known to only display one image. I do not consider this to be Inceptional of reality gaming because it does not encompass the qualities of the new age of era of virtual reality. For example, as stated by Robert F.J. Selden in Philosophy Technology, the first virtual reality headset was created by American computer scientist Ivan Sutherland, which depicted the sword of Dem Democles in a headset. With this first virtual reality headset only being able to pick a single image, it lacks the processing power to be able to show true three dimensional images that can be interacted. Virtual reality gaming has been on the rise since, and in today's time, we are fortunate enough to have full immersion capabilities with the leading VR technology of the Oculus Rift. According to the University of Technology, Sydney, the Oculus Rift was introduced in the year 2013 and was tested by 10 participants with a shooting game. 
As time went on, the engineers at Oculus were able to advance their technologies that were being used and have given us the ability to play games that perform live surgeries to even going on quests in your own living. You now know a little more about video games and their history than you did before. First, I went over the first ever video game made and the arcade era. Secondly, I, intro I introduced the period of at-home console systems. And lastly, I talked about the new era of virtual augmented reality. As I said before, over the past 70 years, video games have evolved from arcade era to home consoles all the way to virtual reality. In conclusion, it's clearly visible on just how different video games have been over the years. So next time you're sitting on the couch or in the restroom, playing that game you're addicted to, be thankful for those who were able to make that happen.